Wizard of West LA here. I did ponder the concept that if you write a program on the Arduino, disconnect it, and then plug it back in months later, the program will still run. So it stores the program somewhere. And then I ran into the idea of wanting to save data that I read. So this code I'm gonna share with you is a way to store data on the Arduino, much like the program where you can disconnect the power, restart it, and that data will still remain on the Arduino. So let's begin. Our first step is going to be writing data. In this example, we have a library called EEPROM. And here we just need the setup and there's no loop. Once this is set up, that's it. It will write the data. Very simply put, what happens is we have a variable called word address, which in this case is zero. Now the memory works from zero to, I have some specifications to about 2K, which is 2000. What we will do is we will write decibel number in there, but I'm going to leave that what's in there right now as a hexadecimal number. 7F in decimal, which we're using to count is 127. So it is going to put 127 in memory zero. So when we run this, it will do that. So now let's send this code to the Arduino. The code has been sent to the Arduino so that 7F, which is 127, has now been written to the memory address called zero. Now that we have just written data to that address zero, let's go through the real simple code here on how to read data. And this is how you read a memory cell, so to speak. What we're going to do is open the serial port so we can take a look so it can print something and the memory address member is zero, like we were at last time, and whatever it pulls from zero, it puts it in value, and then it just displays the value. So let's send this to the Arduino. I have sent that to the Arduino. So now I'm going to open the serial port. and I'm going to move it in the screen so you can see it. And there it is, 7F. And that is what we wrote on the other one. So I am going to post this code on the website so you can use this code. I have a, a data write and data read. And remember to clear out memory, all you do is go to the write code and put a zero in there. You can actually fill it with zeros. I will do code again where you can start putting words and different things and I will show you a memory map of how that works. So if you need to look at the code, there it is right there. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel as I will be posting a lot of Arduino projects, a lot of code, and this is more advanced code. And I do have a project coming up that I would like to share with you to show you how to do code with that project. Remember, one of the most important things, keep on learning.